Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a psychological experiment that so many have heard of, but very few know much about. The Stanford Prison Experiment. This groundbreaking study conducted by Dr. Philip Zimbardo in 1971 aimed to examine the psychological effects of perceived power dynamics. However, as time has passed, concerns about its ethical and scientific validity have surfaced. In this video, we will look to explore the issues surrounding the Stanford Prison Experiment and jump into the scientific implications. Number 1. Setting the Stage to understand the Stanford Prison Experiment, let's start by setting the stage. In 1971, Zimbardo and his team recruited 24 male college students for simulated prison environments. Randomly assigned roles as either guards or prisoners, the participants were observed for two weeks. The results were shocking, with the guards displaying abusive behaviour and prisoners suffering psychological distress. Number 2. Ethical Concerns While the Stanford Prison Experiment aimed to shed light on human behaviour, numerous ethical concerns have been raised. Firstly, informed consent was compromised as participants were not fully aware of the extent of the experiment or the potential harm they might face. Secondly, the well-being of the participants was jeopardised as the psychological distress experienced by the prisoners was substantial. Number 3. Demand Characteristics one critical issue with the Stanford Prison Experiment is the influence of demand characteristics. These are cues within the experiment that led participants to behave in a way they believe is expected of them. In this case, the participants might have perceived their roles as guards or prisoners and adjusted their behaviour accordingly, contributing to the observed abusive behaviour. Number 4. Lack of experimental control Another factor that raises concerns about the scientific rigour of Stanford Prison Experiment is the lack of experimental control. The study lacked a control group, making it difficult to determine whether the observed behaviour was solely due to the assigned roles or if other factors were at play. This lack of control limits the generalizability and reliability of the findings. Number 5. Experimenter Bias Experimenter bias is another critical issue that has been raised regarding the experiment. Zimbardo himself played an active role as the superintendent of the prison, potentially influencing the behavior of the guards through subtle cues or instructions. This raises questions about the objectivity of the findings and the potential for confirmation bias. Number 6. Cultural and Historical Context It is essential to consider the cultural and historical context in which the Stanford Prison Experiment took place. The experiment occurred during a time of social unrest and heightened awareness of authority abuse. This context might have influenced participants' behaviour and contributed to their replication failures observed in subsequent attempts to reproduce the study. Number 7. Lessons Learned Despite its flaws, the Stanford Prison Experiment brought attention to the dark side of human nature and the powerful influence of social roles. However, it serves as a reminder to critically evaluate experiments, ensuring they are conducted ethically, possess proper controls and account for demand characteristics. Thank you for taking the time to join us. 
feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and of course share with those you think would benefit. Until next time, stay mindful and take care.